Hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This is a new one doing around it's called Smart Protection 2012. And uh, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample. Now, it's very similar to some of the older ones, uh, but it does the same sort of thing really. It's a fake uh, program. It says you've got um, all these infections on the system, and what they're trying to do is say that this program can remove these infections if you pay for it. So it's a bit of a scam really. It does the same thing like blocking uh, the Windows tools like Task Manager and also Reg Edit and stuff like that. So I'll just quickly show you there. It does the same old, same old with the uh, rogues. It also puts a proxy on the system and um, sometimes drops rootkits on the system as well. So let's go ahead and try and remove this. I'm going to continue unprotected. Now I know where this lives because there's an icon here and you've seen me do it before. But if you look at the safe report here, straight away it opens up the location to where the actual virus is so now we know that's where it's located it's in the program data folder so that's pretty straightforward and you can also right click on the icon on the desktop which will give you the location as well okay okay so now we've got this on the system let's uh, see about getting that registration code the registra registration code now is on the screen. That's the one to actually activate and register this product, which means you'll be able to easily remove this without any problems. Okay, so don't pay for it at all. Okay, so let's have a look where we can buy it as well. We're not going to buy it, but we just want to see the buy page. And there you go, it's eighty nine ninety five US dollars. Again, they're trying to coax you into paying for it. Okay, so we're not going to bother with that. So the first thing to do is boot into safe mode with networking and I will put the instructions on the screen right now. Now just follow those instructions and you'll be able to boot into safe mode with networking and that will give you a way of removing this very easily because these don't run in safe mode with networking all the time and this one doesn't. So I'm going to remove mine from the desktop. Now I've got a few tools to hand here, UVK to kill the process or you can use other types of tools. So let's uh, have a look where it is anyway we've seen it it's inside programs data now this is an invisible file or folder and you will need to show hidden files and folders and this is the actual location to show hidden files and folders you can go to organize folder and search options and then up to view and then show hidden files and folders and drives okay right so let me just um remove this now this process okay so let's remove this um, this rogue now what I'm going to do is use UVK to kill the process now you can use whatever you like you can use R kill or anything like that they'll all do the job now I know for a fact that UVK won't run so I need to rename this and I'm going to rename mine um, let's see win logon for this one I'm going to try win log on and click run click yes and there we go it's running so what I want to do now is come up to process manager here and straight away I want to find that file here that programs data file there and it's got no publisher as you can see which is always a sign but now they're getting clever and they're actually putting publisher names in there so be a bit careful so what I want to do here is right click here and kill process and delete the file and say yes to that okay so that's now done it's now disappeared as you can see bring up our new one here I'm just going to rename this again .com because I know this has got something that won't run which is zero access so we're going to run this and click yes to this and then start it's found one for it and there we have uh, a zero access okay so what we're going to do here is remove this this is not a nice uh, one it's, as you can see it's in services and it's called serial so that before I remove this let me just have a quick look here at where that is located and I'll show you where these normally hide it's in Windows here and system 32 and we've got drivers 
and inside here you'll see all these uh, .sys files and this is the sort of types of files that get changed and as you can see there's one here with a number on it and this is Kaspersky it will say it looks a bit obscure there but you just need to look at the um, details and you can check all these out with rootkit scanners and stuff but this is to do with uh, Kaspersky's tool so let me just come down to where serial is and you can actually click date modified as well and again another telling sign date modified 2012 there so we know that infection has been on the system uh, since that time so and I know this file would not have been changed at that time so that's another way of telling so let me just cure this up it now needs to reboot the system so I shall do that right now okay we'll just let this boot up Okay, so what we can do now is because we've killed this process, we can delete that off. I'm going to run malware bytes here now. Um, so let me just see if we've got malware bytes on the system. I'm just going to remove this from the list as well. And say yes to that. This will fire up malware bytes. Again, update always. Now I'm going to do a quick scan for this one, but it's always best to do a full scan. Now mem remember this is just uh, an infection of zero access and that you may have loads of other stuff. So you need to make sure that you're doing ample scans with different types of software. Okay, while that scan is running there, what I'm going to do is take a look inside Windows. So I'm going to go into the C drive, Windows, I'm going to go into System32 here. and uh, once I'm in system 32 I'm going to click on date modified and what I'm looking for really is some telltale signs of uh, stuff that's on the system so just look for dates okay well, that scans done scan is finished show results okay that I was just looking at that DLL file there because I did see a date on that DLL file which was the 2012 and I was just wondering what it was and as you can see it's flagged as a Trojan so do have a look visually you know with your own eyes don't just rely on a piece of software to do all that for you so I'm just gonna remove this and at this time I would reboot and do a reboot here but I'm just gonna say no for this and I think that's pretty much it what I would do now is I'll do some other scans on the system to make sure the system is fully cleaned now thing to remember is check your um, proxies as well you want to come up to tools in the net options and then you want to make sure that you're going to connections and then land settings and check here make sure you've got no proxies okay and also on Firefox it's in a slightly different place if you've got Firefox again tools options and then you want to come down to network and then you can see configure how Firefox connects to the internet and check inside here okay make sure you've got no proxies set okay you also want to check your system restore points empty them once the system is all cleaned I'd run temp cleaners as well 
Thanks for watching guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoyed them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. See you later.